let's move on and finish this teddy. Now the whole teddy doesn't fit on the screen, but hopefully you can get a sense of where I am. So we have the teddy body assembled and we have the flounce assembled. And now we are going to attach the flounce to the body uh, at the leg line, finish the crotch seam and add the straps. And that's it. That's it. Love a good, easy DIY pattern. So what I, the easiest way to do this is to fold the flounce in half and then to place that fold at the side seam and then pin forwards and pin backwards. I like to do this step before sewing the crotch seam because working with circles in the, when it's flat instead of in the round, so much easier. So, so, so much easier. So once you have all of this pinned from the front and to the back, and you will see that at the front, it, it will be short of the crotch seam. So that is okay, don't try to stretch it to the end. Uh, same thing with the back. So you're gonna pin it forwards, backwards, and then sew it with a straight stitch. the flounce to the body. I also surged it. Next is to sew the center back seam. Really easy. We're going to put right sides together. Sew it with a straight stitch. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. And then after you sew the center back seam, you will sew the front to the back at the crotch seam. Same thing, straight stitch, back stitch at the beginning and the end. And then the last step is going to be the straps and then finishing this um, crotch area. Such a terrible word, such a terrible word. But it is what it is. Okay, so we have sewn the front to the back at the crotch seam. I also surged it and I went ahead and I did the next step because I think it's easier to show you the after. So on this side, I surged it and I turned it back about the width of the surge, maybe a little bit more. And then I just did a straight stitch from the flounce to the flounce so that the, uh, the surge doesn't show through. So I will show you, this is the finish side, this is the non-finish side. So you'll take this and you'll turn it back and then do a top, top stitch, straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. Okay, let's move on to the last step, which are the straps. First thing that I want to say is that people's torso lengths uh, vary significantly. So even though the pattern gives you instructions on length, I would highly suggest trying on the bodysuit before you sew anything down, just to make sure that the length is okay for your body. Second thing that I want to mention is that the straps are crisscrossed. Um, so a lot of people will miss that and um, sew it that it's straight down, which you can, but the pattern was designed for it to be crisscross. All right, so I have one finished here. Uh, I think this step is easiest to show a before and an after. So the first step is that you are gonna take your ring and you are gonna wrap it around your strap, or you're gonna feed the strap through the ring. You're gonna fold it back so that there's about, mm, I would say about five eighths of an inch, half of an inch, and you're gonna sew it down with a straight stitch. And this is a finished, what it should look like when it's finished. So you're gonna try to, your stitch is gonna try to get as close to that hardware as possible without breaking a needle. Then you're gonna take your strap elastic, another strap elastic. And you are going to take your slider and you are going to feed it up and over that center bar and then down again.
just like that. So that there is about a half an inch folded over, it's up and over the center bar. What you don't want to do, so this is correct, I will show you what is incorrect, is feeding it through that side bar and folding it down. That is incorrect. See that center bar? You don't want that to be visible. So you're going to feed it through the center bar, fold it down again, and then you're going to stitch as close to the hardware as possible. You might need to uh, move your needle position in order to get close to it, but this should be the finished result. And then I trim the elastic so that it's really close to the stitching. Then you're going to take this strap and you're going to feed it through the ring and you're going to go up and over that center bar and down again just like you did before. And then you are going to, now where you place it, you might want to look, even though the pattern has notches, it is totally up to you where you want to place it. So I would, again, try on the bodysuit, try on the teddy, and place it where you, it's more most comfortable for you, so that the straps aren't falling off. Um, but you're going to under, you're going to lay it underneath the teddy, and then you're going to tack it down with a straight stitch back and forth, I would say about three or four times back and forth. 